Welcome back to another pick a card reading. If you're new here, I'm Naomi and I make videos on tarot pick a card readings, on astrology, and on personal development. So today's timeless tarot pick a card reading is all about answering the question, what do people wish they could say to you? So we are going to dive in and find out what people admire about you, what they love about you, and what impressions they have about you. For this reading, you can have a specific person in mind and you can watch multiple piles for insights into more than one person that you have in mind. So this reading can also apply to what people wish they could say to you in general as well. Just remember, what you think about yourself is way more important than what others say about you. So just think of this reading as a little nice, you know, cherry on the top. You know, a little nice added bonus from others or, you know, an extra compliment to your day. So remember, this is also a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, if you're interested in looking at getting a personal reading with me or looking around my shop or services check out the links in the description and okay so if you are new to pick a card readings here's how it works the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to pick the pile that you were the most intuitively drawn to so this is pile one with the amethyst crystal this is pile two with the orca agate crystal. This is pile three with the heat treated citrine crystal. And this is pile four with the celestite or celestine crystal. All of these crystals are available in my shop. Check out the link in the description if you're interested. If you need more time to choose, please pause the video, but when you are ready, go to the description of this video and find the timestamp that is linked to your pile, and then you can skip ahead to your reading all about what people wish they could say to you. I'll see you on the inside. Hi, Pile One. Welcome to your general reading. If you would like a personal reading or a peek into my shop or services, check out the links in the description. Now let's dive into your reading all about what people wish they could say to you. Okay, so pile one with the temperance card here. Let's see. What do people wish they could say to you? Mm. So yeah, people think that you are an angel pile one. Like I'm hearing a literal angel. You bring peace and tranquility and balance to their lives. I feel like you embody a very beautiful balance between your masculine and feminine side. And, you know, I feel like you're this necessary safe haven for others in your life and others want to tell you that they want to be in union with you. So, you know, I feel like you bring this beautiful harmony into other people's life. Others love how you're able to remain calm and even during times of rough waters. And it's not that you don't experience stress or anxiety, but you know, the way that you remain calm and, you know, keep keeping on is very admirable. So yeah, I feel like you don't let your stress spill out onto others and others really respect that. You really have this unshakable energy about you um, and you're super, super resilient. A lot of people look up to you, Pile One, and, you know, others also wish that they could thank you for being so patient with them. Like, I feel like you're a naturally a, just a really patient person and I feel like you meet people with you know like where they're at and with what they need at that moment in time and others love how flexible and adaptable you are and I feel like you're also the type of person who knows how to hold space for many different perspectives you're the type of person who's willing to bend and break habits to challenge themselves in circumstances and I feel like you make a really great leader pal one the way that you work with others is excellent and you're able to keep everyone in harmony and working together. So I do feel like others wish that they could tell you that they feel like they have the potential to make slow and steady progress with you. I feel like others want to embark on a journey with you. And you know, I'm almost hearing like, like we're off to see the wizard, like that song, you know? Um, and then I was like, okay, what could that mean? And then I sat with it for a second and then I'm like, okay, there's no place like home. You literally feel like home to others. You feel safe and others want to grow with you, pal one, and they want to work together with you, you know, whether that's in business or relationships or in projects, um, you know, being around you is alchemic. And honestly, 
you transform lives just by being your authentic self. And I feel like the way that you stay true to yourself is super, super admirable, pal one. Like people wish they could tell you that being a part of their life is a part of their purpose. Um, yeah, I really feel like you're an important part of people's lifetimes and you're very, very connected, um, or people feel very, very connected to you spiritually, um, and on a soul level. Yeah. And then with the summer card here, we have summer bask in joy and light so i do also feel like people wish they could tell you that you do make them very happy pile one so you bring such sweet joy to the lives of others you shine very brightly and this leads the way for others to give themselves permission to shine brightly as well i feel like you are authentic to who you truly are at your heart and i feel like you don't mold yourself to what others think you should be and others wish that they could tell you that they want you to have fun and they want to go on adventures with you and they want to make the most beautiful memories with you and I feel like you'd make an excellent travel buddy is what I'm hearing I feel like you have this natural sense of wonder that is just enormous and amazing and being around you feels like a breath of fresh air like I really do feel like you bring warmth to the lives of others pal one I'm hearing that you brought back a sense of life um, back into people's lives like maybe after a time when they had felt so cold and stuck and you're very transformative to be around pal one this could indicate that people may express how they feel to you around the summertime um <clears throat> with that being said we do have snake here and it says creation so others wish that they could tell you that they do want to create something with you you know whether that's a life a child a creative project you know and so many other possibilities i just really feel like you have this really beautiful life force about you pile one and you have very powerful energy so this also represents the energy of fertility you know the ability to conceive something so maybe you could take this message quite literally or metaphorically people want you to know that they are absolutely trans transformed just by being around you and being in connection with you is like this safe space where they can shed their old skin and step into the new version of who they are i feel like you know how to be there for people when they're going through big life changes and a rebirth and people wish that they could just tell you how healing it is to be around you pal one like people want to say that being connected to you feels like a renewal of life like it's that serious pal one um and here we have forgiveness and it says nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments okay so for some of you here there are people out there who wish for your forgiveness and if there's someone that's done you wrong or betrayed you or hurt you just know that they're hoping that you will forgive them and i think that forgiveness is more of a thing that you do to heal yourself um, you don't have to re-engage with the person if you don't want to but you can give yourself the energy of forgiveness so that you can personally and individually heal and move on with your life so some of you have family members that you've been through it with and you know the energy of forgiveness like even just to feel it within yourself when you've processed you know how you felt and sat with it and you're ready to do so i think it could be very healing um for others here the message is that whoever um is on your mind um could be worthy of forgiveness and trust can be rebuilt so use your discernment um and you know if there's anyone who you'd like to ask for forgiveness from just know that this could be a confirmation that maybe making amends could be very healing to all involved remember that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to like reach out to them but do you just do something to heal that part of grief or hurt that happened in your life so yeah definitely trust your own discernment when it comes to this message in terms of you know which one resonates with your life but really the message here is that you do deserve to to feel at peace pal one so use the energy of forgiveness when you're ready to okay and then we have so we low so with this card okay this is a rune card so this rune represents the sun and energy by the way if you are interested in getting any of these decks i have them all linked in the description for you all right now back to the reading so yeah i do feel like people wish they could tell you that um you are very you know radiant you're very very radiant you bring so much joy and happiness and light into the lives of others pal one and you hold the energy of a light worker so you naturally illuminate others and others really see you as someone who is very successful and someone who has and will achieve greatness in their lifetime so many people look up to you in so many ways and people think very positively about you pal one um you know, actually very, very attracted to you because we have the fertility card here, 
watermelon. Um, and this is another confirmation that others see you as someone with very fertile energy, ideas, creativity. You know, this is um, very representative of creatrix energy. So someone who embodies the divine feminine energy. Again, others may want to connect with you on a deeper level and quite possibly even grow or build a life and a family together. So for others, people want you to um, or want to grow with you and learn with you and expand their horizons with you. And the astrological association with watermelon is Leo. So you could have Leo somewhere significant in your birth chart or, or the person in mind in this reading has Leo somewhere in their birth chart. Um, or this is just the energy at play here. Leos are known to be very loyal and confident and leaders and ambitious, you know, and fierce and protective and big hearted and filled with a big, bright soul. Right. So, yeah, that is super, super cool. Um, again, I feel like others want to tell you that you're very sweet. We have the blueberry card here and yeah, let's see what it says on the back. Yep. Be filled with joy. You make people really, really happy. You make people super duper happy, pile one. Um, you fill people's lives with energy, with sweetness, with excitement, right? With color. And we have the real talk card here. So, okay. It says high priority. So it says time is not a renewable resource. And while we all have 24 hours to work with, you've got a unique set of priorities and responsibilities that impact the way that you spend your days. Your 24 hours are not the same 24 hours as your celebrity faves or your best friends or your mentors. Acknowledging that reality is incredibly freeing. When you realize that decorating isn't a priority right now, it becomes okay for your home not to look like a magazine spread. So what are your top three priorities right now? Let three priorities dictate where you invest your time. Ooh. So that's a great way to prompt us right now, pal one. Let's think about three priorities that we have in our life right now. And if you need to take a moment to pause the video and kind of reflect on maybe the three top three um, priorities in your life right now. And sometimes it's great to like write it down or write down an intention. Like I intend to give more energy to my kids this week or you know what I mean? Something like that. Um, so that's one message here. I also do feel like others want to prioritize you. You are high priority to others. You are very special. Um, others see you as a gift. So yeah, others, others just love you, pal one. I'm going to get more information from our tea leaf cards here. Okay. So what else do people want to say to you? What do people want to say to you? Let's see. What do people want to say? Okay. So we have Needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. Ooh, that's good news, pal one. We also have heart. It says love, deep affection, and caring. So again, I think this is another confirmation that others truly love you. Um, we have ring. It says a marriage will take place either romantic or business. Ooh, see, remember how I talked about how people want to be in union with you? So that could look very different depending on many different things, but a marriage, I feel like there's a um, definitely... For a lot of you, there's a romantic component here. Um, we have elephant. It says a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So honestly, I think that people think you're really intelligent. You're really smart. You're really wise. You're someone that people look up to. Um, and you know, if you're not feeling all of this yet, you're like, hey, this all sounds really great, but I'm not quite experiencing this yet. Remember that whatever you're going through right now, if it's tough, it's a temporary situation. There's better things on the horizon. Um... Some of you might be coming into union with a Libra or someone who has um, significant Libra energy in their chart, or you could have that energy, but it says keep your life in balance. Remember how I said others feel like you balance their life? So that's just another confirmation there. Um, very interesting. It looks like, here, I'll bring this up closer. It looks like there's a snake that, um, let me see if this will focus. Yeah, it looks like a snake is wrapping around the the base of the scale. So that's interesting because we have the snake card over here and it says, um, you know, how you're very transformative to others. So 
yeah, another confirmation on that. And then it says cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control. Yeah. So if you've been worrying about anything, you know, just know that you're highly protected by people around you, by your guides, by your angels, by your ancestors. So yes. Um, and then let's see, let's grab some information from our book divination for you. Today's book divination comes from the book Less Is More, 101 Ways to Simplify Your Life by Dominique Bertolucci. What else does Pal One need to know today? What else does Pal One need to know? Okay, so we have, it says, do not wait until the conditions are perfect to begin. Beginning makes the conditions perfect. And then it says, begin it now. If there is something you want to achieve in life, there is no better place to begin than where you are right now. All too often, people put off beginning while they wait for some magical sense that the time is right. But the only real time to begin is right now. Sorry if that one out of focus. Um, yeah, so whatever it is that's been on your heart, pile one, um, the message here is to start it. Take that first step. Take that first leap. Um, and trust. Trust that all is working out for your favor. Okay, so thank you, Pal One. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If you like this reading and you'd like to, please give this video a like, share this message with someone who needs it, save the video if you want to watch it later, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment below with what pile you chose. I love to connect with you all in the comments. Thank you, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, Pile Two. Welcome to your general reading. If you'd like a personal reading or a peek into my shop or services, check out the links in the description. Now let's dive into your reading all about what people wish they could say to you. So we have the lovers here and you know, pile two, people just want to be open and honest and raw with you. People want to be vulnerable with you and others trust that they can share what's on their heart with you. Um, so someone wants to communicate their true feelings for you. Um, people wish that they could tell you how much they love and honor and respect, you know, you as a person. And I feel like people want to be like together with you, you know, in union with you in partnership, whether that applies to you romantically or platonically or in friendship or in work or in business. Um, you know, this could be that like people physically desire you and others wish that they could express how attractive you are both on the inside and outside. Um, maybe people mentally or emotionally or spiritually desire you. And I think that people truly value the wisdom and intellect that you bring to the table and they desire to work with you or have you on their team. I'm really getting the sense here that others really want to be connected to you and you feel like a soulmate to others pile too. Um, I, you know, I mean, honestly, like others could feel really tempted to reach out to you to express what they want to say. People feel passionate about you pile too. They have a lot of love and compassion for you and you make others feel more whole and complete. Um, people feel like being with you and working with you and being around your energy and, you know, they feel like being with you would be like a deep connected and, you know, fulfilling relationship. And, you know, people notice that you stay true to your values and what you believe in. Um, others wish that they could tell you that if they could choose between you and anyone else, it always would be you. And others are so blown away and in awe of how you show up as your authentic self and choose the energy of love over fear, even, you know, during the most difficult times. Okay, so a message that we have here is Stargazer. So a specific message that I'm hearing for some of you is that, you know, like either you can do better or you deserve better. So others feel like you are so divine and so heavenly and that you're so you know, you're just worth so much more than others are giving you. And so another message here is that others see you as someone who is very accomplished, someone who has prestige in their field, someone who they truly look up to. And I keep hearing among the stars, you know, for you, like some of you are meant to be famous or garner fame in some way. And I also think that others wish they could tell you how much they trust you. You know, you're a visionary, you're a bright dreamer, and others believe that having you in their lives allows them to move past any limitations they have and dream bigger for their lives. You really help people to believe that anything is possible. And you know, I feel like you're someone's wish come true or a dream come true. You know, like when you wish upon a star or, you know, like, Others dream about being in connection with you, pile two. I do feel like you are a miracle in other people's eyes. 
Um, and with that being said, we have wolf authenticity here. People love to get to know the real you pile too. They love learning about who you are and where you're from and what you've experienced and you know what you dream of. Um, there's a song that's coming up in my head. Um, it's called Pretty Little Fears by Black. Um, and it says, I think there's this line that's like, I'm loving your light, vulnerable. Letting your guard down is honorable. So yeah, that's what I'm feeling like this person is wanting to say to you. Um, people love to get to know the inner you, your inner world, and people want to be like a part of your pack. Others want to roll in your circle and maybe others feel like you feel like family or they want to be in your family or they want to build a family with you but people see you as someone who is very powerful you know very intuitive and very instinctual and others respect your wisdom pile too so i feel like people also feel very protective over you and your well-being and you are very loved and cared for then we have the you are limitless card and it says you can do anything you choose so you know what i feel like people also wish that they could say that they wish that you believed in yourself as much as they did like, they wish that you would trust and believe and honor yourself the way that others see you. And if you have any limiting beliefs or doubts about what you can be or do or have in, the, in this lifetime, just know that you have limitless potential and you can be, do, or have anything that it is that you desire. Like, if it's on your heart, then you know what? It's meant for you. And, you know, you deserve good things. You deserve inner peace. You deserve new beginnings and opportunities. And others wish that they could encourage you to dream bigger. And you might be someone who has felt quite different than others for their whole life. And others want you to know that they love your uniqueness. And I'm hearing, like, there's nobody else out there like you. Okay, and then we have Fi. It's either Fi Hu or Fei Hu. But this um rune represents cattle or prosperity so you know others wish that you could see that you were really meant for abundance and wealth and the finer things in life i feel like this piggybacks on the last message that we spoke about dream bigger you are limitless you know maybe you've only experienced a certain level of life and so you thought that's the only way it could ever be or look for you but this card comes as a reminder that you were meant for so much more and you are meant to be extremely successful, especially as it has to do with business. So this is really exciting pile two. You are about to come into an inheritance of some sort, kind of like some payment for good karma done in the past. And others admire the natural entrepreneur in you. And I feel like you'd, you'd excel in having your own business if you don't already have one yet. And others see you as someone with a certain level of status. And this is also representative of you coming into times of good health, um, joy, you know, love and harmonious relationships. And other people want to express or invite you in to new opportunities or ventures. So, you know, your job could be to just like check it out, suss it out, and you'd be surprised at what you find pile too. But honestly, and you know, all in all, people wish that they could tell you that they can't put a price on the value of having you in their life. Okay, so we also have the strawberry card here and it says agreement. So, okay, yes, pile two. Um, this is a sign that other want, others want to be in union, you know, agreement, partnership with you. Um, this is a confirmation from the message that we heard earlier with the lover's card. And I feel like people are very, very attracted to you, pile two. You're very magnetic. So be on the lookout for getting an offer from others, you know, a proposal, whether this be romantic, business, you know, creative venture. Um, I'm randomly also hearing a message saying there is a book deal on the horizon for some of you and I thought that message was super random but I felt urged to share that with whoever needed to hear that so yeah it'll happen um, but some of you who are in a relationship you will receive news that someone wants to make a deeper commitment with you you know whether that's being in a committed relationship or um, engagement marriage growing your family right having children um, <clears throat> And then some of you are going to find that the perfect fit for a business partnership is coming your way in the near future and it's going to feel like a wonderful fit so this is a great time to connect with others collaborate socialize you know you'll have good luck in this area right now um and here the astrological association with strawberry is libra so either you or the other person in mind could have libra in their birth chart or this is just the energy at play here and libras are known to be very charming and beautiful and balanced and fair and harmonious and generous and and peaceful so yes okay i'm also thinking that with this card here you are very sweet right because the bee goes to the flowers to you know collect its sweetness so um the sweet honey anyway 
I also think like, I think people, like I'm hearing like, oh, like I couldn't have walked like a mile in their shoes. Like I feel like throughout your life, pile two, you might have had to go through a lot of like challenging ups and downs and obstacles and experiences. And so <clears throat> I can see that like, <clears throat> Or others can see that, like, you have, like, well-broken in boots, right? You have well-worn in boots. Like, you've been places. You have experiences. Um, Let's see what it says. It says, never stop wandering. Yeah, I feel like you have a very free spirit. I feel like um, it's almost like this wild horse, like, untamable energy. And I feel like you don't belong to anybody but yourself. And I think that's what other people love so much about you. Um, I feel like you have a very curious spirit about you, a very curious mind. And... You know, I feel like you're, like, maybe you might be a very cyclical person. Like, you understand that, like, fall is the time of release, and then winter is, like, the time for going within and, like, resting, and and summer, you know, spring and summer is a time of, like, blooming and, like, growth and kind of harvesting things, and anyway. um, It's also a reminder that people might want to just tell you to never stop wandering. Another message here is that some of you are going to be traveling in the near future. Um, And then we have this get quiet card here. So it says, when do you hear yourself most clearly? In order to actively listen, you have to be able to hear your own voice. That's a challenging task in a world that offers in all you can eat buffet of distractions to keep you from turning inward. You could avoid your own company altogether if you're not intentional. You have to flee, you have to proactively create the conditions where you can get quiet with yourself. There are no rules for what this has to look like. Even a minute of checking in can do a whole lot of good. If meditation isn't your thing, try a car, try a silent car ride. If you don't connect to yourself through journaling, see if taking a walk serves you better. Treat it like an experiment. Notice what circumstances amplify your inner voice and create pockets of time accordingly. Ooh, yeah. So this is a reminder to get connected to your inner voice. Make more time to listen to what your body and your mind and your soul is trying to communicate with you. I think in the busyness of life, we can just get caught up and we can kind of forget what our body is really asking us for, you know, what our spirit is asking us for. So that is what that card means. I want to pull some tea leaf cards. So what do people wish they could say to you? Okay, I feel like the tea leaf cards totally brought us through a certain journey. So I'm getting that some of you may have been through situations or relationships that may have been disappointing in the past because we have scissors and it says disappointment in some affair. Maybe it was very troubling. It was very heated. It was very tense. It says trouble, accusations. Um, And I feel like, you know, with cutting this off, with ending this situation, Um, you had time to explore and you had time to like go out and have some fun and get to know who you really are again. And this is actually leading you to be more at peace with yourself, more in harmony. And that's what's actually attracting a, you know, a divine soulmate for, for you. and, And this is for those of you who this resonates with. Um, if it doesn't, you can leave it, but, um, yeah, a marriage will take place either romantic or in business. Um, sorry my dog is barking dogs also symbolize loyalty so i feel like others want to give you their loyalty their commitment um it says tankard celebration fun and enjoyment so you're gonna have something to look forward to you're gonna have something to celebrate and i think that's just so amazing pile too so let's get some information from your book divination and it comes from the book less is more 101 ways to simplify your life by dominique bertolucci okay What do people wish they could say to you? Pile two. So it says, the first wealth is health. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Invest in your health. Don't allow being busy at work to become an, an, an excuse for a poor diet and a lack of exercise. Although working hard might allow you to earn more, all the money in the world won't be worth a cent if you don't have your health to enjoy it. Yeah. So yeah, get quiet, slow down, take a pause, take care of yourself, right? Um, the lovers also can represent um, values and priorities. So reprioritize, focus on 
you know, your what you value, what needs to bring you, what can bring you that peace and harmony, right? So thank you, Pile 2. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If you enjoyed today's pick a card and you'd like to, please give this video a big thumbs up. Share this message with someone who needs it. Save the video if you want to watch it later. Subscribe if you haven't already and comment below with what pile you chose. I love to connect with you all in the comments. Thanks and I will see you next time. Bye! Hi Pile 3, welcome to your general reading. If you chose the heat treated citrine, then you're in the right spot. Remember that this is just a general reading. If you'd like a personal reading or a peek into my shop or services, check out the links in my description. Now let's dive in to your reading all about what people wish they could say to you. Okay, so welcome Pile 3. The first thing that we have is the King of Swords. So people wish that they could tell you how amazing your mind is, Pile 3. Um, I'm hearing the word mind power. So others think that you are highly intellectual and very smart. People see you as someone who has a lot of experience and wit. You're someone that others look to as a leader or an advisor, and you're very wise and have a lot of useful insights to share with the world. And there are people out there who want to hear what you have to say, so give yourself permission to express yourself. You really have that type of energy that commands authority and respect just by being you, Pile 3, and you carry the energy of a specialist. So if you're the type of person who is confident in their decision-making process, others find this very attractive about you, very magnetic, and I think that the way that you trust yourself yourself is super inspirational to others. So people say that you're the type of person who is honest and truthful and others say that they see things so clearly when they're around you and you bring this fresh transformative energy to others around you and help them to get a very clear, um, I guess to help them to get clarity, you know, in terms of their vision. Okay, so people wish that they could tell you that you bring more stability to their lives, and I feel like you have this objective, logical reason about you that brings comfort and calmness to people's lives, and your ability to remain impartial is something that others really want to emulate in their own lives. You might be the type of person who is upfront, straight to the point, and bluntly honest, and others admire this about you. You're not someone who's about BS, and I feel like you can easily sniff out mistruths, um, and you have a lot of knowledge, Pile 3, and others really respect that. So with the Druid card here, it says hold the space. So people want to tell you that they feel safe with you, Pile 3. Others feel like you hold their life together, and they feel like they can come to you when they're in need and when they, you know, they can trust you with their secrets. So people see you as someone who has a lot of life experience and someone who holds a lot of wisdom within you. You could be a trusted advisor or someone that people... Um, go to to receive insights. You're really, really intuitive, Pile 3. I don't know if you give yourself enough credit around that, but, you know, trust yourself. Your energy kind of reminds me of, like, this magical energy, like, you know, like Merlin energy. Um, and I feel like others wish that they could tell you, um, you know, that you're exactly where you are meant to be in this moment in time and to trust your intuition and trust your inner wisdom, wisdom about where you're going. Um, others want to encourage you to dig deeper with whatever it is that you've been wondering about or thinking about. Remember that you have the energy of being a visionary. So, you know, trust what you see in your mind's, your mind's eye. I do feel like many of you are very clairvoyant. And another message here is that some of you could have a deeper connection with the um, Celtic or Welsh people. So, yeah, this is representative of the magician energy in the tarot. So I feel like you have the ability to manifest whatever it is that you want in your life. And then we have the bull card here and it says sacrifice. So people wish they could tell you that you bring stability into their lives. And, you know, someone here that could have Taurus in their chart. Um, others feel like they'd make whatever sacrifices they needed to be in your life. And this also brings the question up. You know what needs to go so that you know we can make room for new and better things in our lives because yeah others may even they want to support you and they want to support you with charging forward with whatever it is or wherever it is that you want to go and they feel like they would take things as slow and steady as you needed but like being in connection with you feels worthwhile and people could also see you as someone who has sacrificed a lot in order to be where you are today and people have a lot of love and loyalty and respect for you so yes we also have the back to what you love card it says reevaluate your desires so you could have people out there who want to encourage you to go back to doing what you truly love um the things that you know truly lights your soul up um 
you know, spending time with your kids, gardening, surfing, building connections with others, painting, creating art, playing music, sharing your wisdom through like written word, um, you know, so much more. If you've been feeling like you've been stuck or stagnant, just know that going back to doing what you love will help you get some movement back into this area of your life. This comes as your reminder that you were meant to live your life with happiness. You were meant to enjoy your life. Um, you know, so find a way to reconnect to the things that bring you your inner joy, give yourself time to transform and rejuvenate, and just remember that you're very, very protected, pile three. Okay, and then we have Isa or Isa, um, and this rune means ice or frozen. So yes, if you feel like you've been blocked or at a standstill in some area of your life, this is a sign to change things up a bit. So do something that you typically wouldn't do to get the energy flowing. So take a new route home, ride your bike, take a walk. Say yes to something you've always wanted to do. Connect with someone that you've always been drawn to. Um, others want to know that if you apply your natural objectivity and your natural mental agility, you'll really make it through any obstacle that you face. Um, and be discerning with who and where you want to pour yourself into because your energy is sacred, pile three. This is your time to surrender to the divine and be patient and expect things to arrive in divine timing. Um, another message here is that others... Um, think that you're very cool and you're very chill. You're very calming and soothing to be around. Um, with that being said, we have the wisdom card here and it says bay. So, okay, there's a couple different meanings here. Bay leaves are associated with wishes and inspiration. So you might be on someone's wish list or, you know, you feel like a wish come true to others, but others admire your wisdom and they're truly blown away by kind of like your mind. And this is what we confirmed with the King of Swords earlier. So others see you as very, very intuitive, very clairvoyant, and you have this beautiful vision about you and the energy of being a seer. There are others who want to be in a romantic connection with you. This is a message for some of you. Um, there are people who want to support you in your ventures. Another message for some. Um, and the astrological association with Bay is Leo. So you or the other person in mind could have Leo in your chart, or this is just the energy at play here. Um, but yes, you are a guiding light and a pillar in your community, so keep shining your light brightly. You truly do illuminate the lives of others in more ways than one, pile three. Um, yeah, so we have the bicycle card here. So others feel like you give them a sense of freedom. Others feel like you bring them a sense of movement and you keep the wheels turning for them. Um, you bring them to new destinations that they've always wanted to go to. Um, and it says adventure awaits. Yeah, people want to go on adventures with you. Um, they want to explore with you. I think they're in love with your mind and your curiosity. Um, and then we have the get grounded card. So the get grounded card says acknowledge change. So it says, you know that change is bound to happen, but it can be hard to recognize as it's happening. When you're feeling out of touch, perhaps something has shifted. Try to identify the changes in your life. Observe the differences in your approach your circumstances, and your relationships. When you acknowledge change, you open up the internal lines of communication. You're free to reconsider and make the adjustments you need. Let change be an internal um, conversation starter. Yeah, so remember how I was saying you're very transformative to other people's lives? So yeah, acknowledge change. You help people acknowledge change. You help people kind of during like big moments of change. I think that you're a very prominent and wise kind of like elder in people. Not elder, but you know what I mean? It's almost like you're like the wise sage, right? You're somebody who um, they can lean on for support and guidance during any time, especially the tough times in their life. So let's get some tea leaf cards. Okay, so what else do we, do people wish that they could say to you? But, ooh, that is a lot. Okay. What do people wish they could say to you? Okay. so many okay hopefully that all fits okay okay so looking at everything here um okay first off you have a secret admirer um 
and that's that's pretty clear <laughs> um you know i think that you also um maybe have people who might be envious of your position or kind of like where you're at in life um, but that is okay that is their journey um i feel like you're going to be meeting someone new soon you might be um kind of going and um kind of working with new people during this time um and you know what right now it's, it talks about like things will not always be this way a change is coming um in terms of like you feel something is lacking in your life perhaps love money your goals so if things don't feel like they're at where they need to be at right now just know that this is temporary change is coming your life is about to be transformed um maybe somebody like a fair woman dealings with a relationship oh dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde gray or white hair maybe um this there's a person with these characteristics that wants to share a message with you um we have get back to basics so maybe this is a sign for you to come back to yourself get back to basics honor what you need in this moment in time look out for an exciting event coming up or coming your way and it says success assured with good plans and hard work so yeah you're about to birth something beautiful into this world just trust trust that what's yours will never miss you pile three and let's dive into your book divination. So today's book divination comes from the book Less is More, 101 Ways to Simplify Your Life by Dominique Bertolucci. We're going to find out what else you need to know in this reading. Okay, it says um, we spend, hopefully that's in focus. Okay, we spend precious hours fearing the inevitable. It would be wise to use that time adoring our families, cherishing our friends, and living our lives. Ooh, go back to basics, right? It says use each day wisely. So it says, um, none of us knows how long we will have in this life. So live each day as if it were your last. Call your friends, cherish your family, and tell the people you love that you do. Make sure that you live each day of your life fully and appreciate today as a good day to be alive. Wow. Okay, so pile three, thank you so much. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If you enjoyed today's pick a card reading and you'd like to, please give this video a big thumbs up. Share this message with someone who needs it. Save the video if you want to watch it later. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and comment below with what pile you chose. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves and I will see you next time. Bye. Hi, pile four. If you chose the Celestite egg or the Celestine egg, then you are in the right spot. Remember that this is just a general reading. If you'd like a personal reading or a peek into my shop or services, check out the links in my description. Now let's dive in to your reading all about what people wish they could say to you. Okay, so pile four. So people wish that they could tell you with the three of cups right here, they wish that they could tell you that you truly make them super happy pile four. So people wish that they could tell you that they want to connect with you. People really respect and appreciate and admire and love you pile four. Um, others wish that they could tell you that they either share a deep connection with you or want to. Some of you either have a sisterhood around you that feels like soul family or this sisterhood or community is coming your way soon. I feel like people want to collaborate with you, be friends with you, and create beautiful things together with you. And you work really well with others, pal four. So you naturally lift others up. So for some of you, this is the type of friendship that leads to romance. For some of you, um, this means that you're just going to creatively collaborate with others or you're meant to join a community of people where you can express yourself creatively. Um, for those of you who are in a relationship, your partner could be someone who's your best friend or someone that you connect with on that level. But yeah, people want to celebrate with you, maybe even party with you. I feel like others want to spend quality time with you, pile four. People want to toast to something with you. Maybe these people are interested in making a deeper commitment with you, maybe romantically. Um, you know, maybe it's like marriage or committed relationship or the birth of a child. Maybe it's signing a wonderful business deal. Um, but I just feel like you're, you're a whole lot of fun, pile four. And I can see you and others dancing together, grooving to the music, going on adventures, you know, collaborating on super rad and creative projects. Being around your energy is electrifying. And again, I want to emphasize that some of you guys are about to find your soul besties and people who are like you at heart. And this is going to be especially exciting for those of you who have struggled with feeling different or like you didn't quite fit in. 
and you might find that you meet these people out in your community when you're socializing in a group setting so give yourself permission to put yourself out there creatively if you love pottery then look up a local pottery group you know like I feel like you know how to support and hold space for and lift other people up in ways that they've never experienced before. I feel like your kindness and your lightheartedness and your joyous spirit is something that keeps the fire burning for many. Hey pal four, I just wanted to apologize for the barking dog in the background um, and I have paused the reading a couple times um, but honestly I just want to get this message to you so bear with me. Thank you so much um, for you know being patient with the barking dog in the background okay so the next card that we have is she wolf so it says unleash the wild within so other people wish they could tell you that they'd love to see you let your wild side out i feel like those who are close to you or those who you trust have seen this side of you and these people are probably really grateful that they did because you are so much fun pal for being around you is such a blast like i feel like you're comfortable with being yourself and you're not afraid to stand out amongst the crowd um, you carry the energy of a pack leader and others look to you for direction and guidance and others love how straight up and honest and blunt and raw you are and you simply tell it like it is and the truth matters to you you know others admire your ability to tell the unfiltered truth and people also wish that they could tell you that others feel a whole new sense of freedom when they're around you so you teach people to take their power back their autonomy back you also carry the energy of a shaman and the energy of a healer and you have the ability to heal others in your own unique way so you teach people to break beyond their own limits and own who they are at their core um, you are going to have a big role in teaching others um, how to express themselves with authenticity and to allow their true selves to shine. Um, others love your rebellious spirit and the way that you march to the beat of your own drum because I really feel like your life is yours and you create it so beautifully. Okay, and then we have the swan card here and it says beauty. So pile four, others really wish they could tell you how beautiful you are. Like I'm hearing you are divine and with the woman having her um eyes closed here i think that like it's beauty that you don't even see you know um people want you to know that you have this natural beauty about you that is undeniable people are quite attracted to you on many levels pile four and there's something that's really regal and unique and elegant about you that others can't help but notice and i feel like you have this magnetic energy where you could be walking down the street and maybe you feel like people are watching you or noticing you and i feel like it's just the energy that you're emanating like people see you as someone who is a very pure soul and you could be someone who is very graceful and gentle and and others see you as someone with a high status we have the love is all around you card and it says there's love everywhere all of the time simply acknowledge this truth Ooh, how for okay i just heard open your eyes like people are out there wanting to show you love and wanting you to notice them but you're not seeing them so has there been anyone who has been showing interest in you like romantically platonically in friendship at work or in business notice who is showing you that they're paying attention to you um, this comes as a reminder to ask yourself, are you opening your eyes to all the love that is already present around you? Like, for example, the love from your children or from being out in nature, or from your pets or your friends or your family or your partner, right? Or yourself. Um, the message here is to take notice of all the love and the beauty um, that already exists in your life. So what are you grateful for? You know, like take a moment to think of three things and open yourself up to possibility that love already exists around you and it's just waiting for you to take notice of this okay we have the Ewas card or Ewas, um and this rune means you or tree and so people wish they could tell you that um old endings bring new beginnings and that they want to be a part of this big life transition for you so many people want to be in your new beginnings as well and i'm getting that others want better for you and care for your heart and your soul and your well-being and so others you know other people see you as someone who is very wise who's very mature who's you know deeply rooted in who you are and others see you as someone who's very patient and can endure any of life's challenges so you bring the energy of rebirth to people's lives pal for you transform other people's lives in ways that just can't be explained and you help people own their truth and take back their power we do have the ritual card here and it says sweet corn so you know the definition of ritual is like a ceremonial act of some kind so i do feel like people really do want to come in union with you in some way like we mentioned with the three of cups earlier in the reading um, examples of this 
Um, could be that other people want to make a deeper commitment with you that it involves some sort of ritual, like a marriage or becoming business partners or join, joining a community of like-minded creatives or individuals that have a similar hobby, right? So yeah, people desire to have a deeper connection with you, like a spiritual connection even, and others want to do something formal with you. So throw a formal party, go into business with you, marry you, you know, have a baby, baptism with you, throw you a bridal shower. Um, others just really want to share in the special moments that you create for your life. And this is also symbolic of luck being on its way to you. So the astrological association with sweet corn is Leo. So you could have it somewhere in your birth chart or maybe the other person has it in their chart. Um, or this is just the energy at play here, but you know, Leos are known to be loyal and leaders and fierce and protective and ambitious and confident. So yeah. Um, we, with the sunflower card here, I do feel like you bring sunshine to other people's lives. You really illuminate their days and you make their days brighter and warmer and more fun. Um, the back of this card says rise with the sun. Yeah. I feel like you bring new beginnings, like being around you feels like a new day to other people. And honestly, okay, with this real talk card, let's see what this says. So this is influencer. So off the bat, I feel like other people feel like you're very influential. You're a leader. You're someone that others look to. And this says influencers don't just live on social media. Outside opinions make their way into our decision making process. That isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's worth exploring what's influencing you. Bring to mind three recent decisions, one small, one mid-sized, and one that's pretty big. If you're struggling to think of anything, try pulling up a bank statement. Walk through your thought process for each decision. Note when outside influences factor in. It might be obvious, like an ad or a sponsored post. It might also be a general sense that you should do something because that's the norm. Once you've surfaced some sort of, oh, some of your influences, consider whether or not they're helpful. Are these influences helping you become the person you want to be? Wow, interesting. It's a very powerful message and a very powerful prompt. I want to get more information from the tea leaf cards, find out what people wish they could say to you. Wow. People love you. They have deep affection for you. They care about you. It says someone new is entering your life. Exciting news. Okay, it says affairs with your family. Ooh, either building a family, finding your soul family, healing family. <gasps> Four leaf clover. It says great, good fortune. I have like goosebumps too on my arms. Um, okay, we have rat, someone working against or behind your back. And we have... Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Okay, so um, if you feel like someone has been working against you or some things or obstacles that you've been facing have been working against you, just know that this situation is temporary and that change is coming. So things won't always be this way. Um, and here, look, it's a successfully overcoming a problem. So you are on your way to success. Let's grab you a book divination. Today's book divination comes from the book Less is More, 101 Ways to Simplify Your Life by Dominique Bertolucci. Let's find out what else Pal4 needs to know today. Okay, so it says, if you are not content with what you have, you would not be satisfied if it were doubled. Charles Spurgeon. So it says, be content. It says, don't complain about the size of your home, regardless of how big their house is. The truth is, most people do the majority of living in one single room. So while a bigger house might give you more bedroom storage and other surplus requirements, it's unlikely to give you any more space you'll actually live in. Interesting. I've heard that before. So yeah, maybe... Um, it's just an encouragement to take perspective, to be grateful for what we have. That energy attracts more abundance, right? So yeah, thank you so much, Pal4. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If you enjoyed today's pick a card reading and you'd like to, please give this video a big thumbs up. Share this message with someone who needs it. Save the video if you want to watch it later. Subscribe if you haven't already and comment below with what Pal you chose. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye, Pal4.